<clears throat> hey guys, what is up? If you're new here, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Confidently Healthy, where we speak about beauty, health, and entrepreneurship, and I hope to inspire you to live a confidently healthy life in the mind, body, and spirit. So guys, if you're new to my channel, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, go ahead and say hello and introduce yourself down below. I have a Facebook group uh, that's linked down below as well. Uh, it's definitely a place where it's positive, go-getting individuals who really love holistic and natural and organic beauty and anything to uplift oneself. Mm -mm -mm. So guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about a plethora of things. <laughs> and the plethora of things is how I basically started my business with only $10 in my pocket. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to stay till the end because I wish I say these little positive affirmations over you to bless you throughout your day and your week. I want to go ahead and jump right into it because I value your time and I just want to say thank you so much for uh, really supporting a new YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So guys, let's talk about how I started my business with only $10 in my account. I recently wrote a blog post, link down below, uh, basically <laughs> showcasing my struggles of how, how to start my business. Uh, when I started my business, I literally, I was literally working as a waitress in this, at this fine dining restaurant. I was like, oh God, I cannot stay here for the next years of my life. There's nothing wrong with being a waiter or a waitress or a server, but the thing is I wanted more in my life. So I started like looking and researching the most economical ways to start a business. So I came across, you know, a couple things, a couple courses, but that those courses taught saturated skills that it was not in my business plan, in my business model for what I wanted to have in five years. It granted me skills. I can now can create my own website. I can des design. I know how I can find affordable designers that fit me and my brand. And I'm grateful for that experience. However, I wanted to learn more about how to create my own business. So what I did with a lot of research and really just putting it all on the line, I invested in Adobe free membership for a 30 day plan and created a very ugly logo that I'm not gonna share and did a Squarespace. This video is not sponsored by the way by Squarespace. 14, trial, uh, 14 day trial subscription and started getting testing, okay, is this what I wanted to do? Is this what I wanted to see? So mind you, Squarespace was free for 14 days. When I decided 14 days, in the 14 days that I wanted to go into this business model of online digital world, um, I initially paid $196 to get that website up and running. And what Squarespace does is also provides a domain name, and an email address, which I love, <laughs> and the website. So I learned how to design and do all the design metrics and a little bit of coding and I got that website up and rolling. Wouldn't really recommend Wix or any other websites but that's a different video um, in itself. So if you want a video like that, click on the thumbs up. Anyways, so $146. I had $10 in my account so how did I get from $10 to $146? I worked. I know, I know, I, I know you're like, how do you get a $10? Well, $10, I, <laughs> I put the initial deposit down for, to hold my website, my website, biz, my domain name, so no one can take it. Then I had to properly work on making money through waitressing, waiting tables, getting my name out there, and that with that income I was generating, it supported the business. So then after the how I supported the business, well, then I started basically what learning systems and everything like that so I went I also did a video in regards to Asana and how to manage your time properly that video will be linked down below uh, Asana is a great tool and that's quintessentially free my email address was free the only thing I really had to pay for was to hold my domain name which I turned out to find that Squarespace provided for the first year so I could have saved that ten dollars towards uh, in purchasing my domain name, but you know what? It all ends and it ends well. So, guys, if you're trying to start a service-based business, 
ask yourself what do you really need and honestly a lot of people tell you you don't need a website I completely disagree uh, because I was a website designer I do believe the power of a good website the website should easily know who you are what you do and how you serve um, and I want to have that for my clients to read and get to know to get to know about me so really only started that much you really don't need a lot of money to start an online business however when you start developing this business plan and this business model you need to invest in trademarking your services and trademarking your business and brand name I cannot express how important these things are for you uh, you don't want to be confused with another brand so guys um, that's where the money really needs to hit I would definitely say if you're once you start getting money into the door, you need to invest in the trademark. So that's the next thing. So after you invest your website, get the trademark and then get any any other fancy dancy needs and this regarding the systems and operations and stuff like that. You don't really need all that. If anything this experience has taught me is you really don't need any of that. You really just need to know who you are, what you do, and how you serve in a properly website email marketing campaign. If you guys are interested in knowing a little bit more on how I served, started my business with literally 10 bucks, I wish I kept that uh, picture because I know people are going to want the receipts. Go ahead and sign up for my email list, my newsletter I should say. Each week I not only you know, wish you favor over this YouTube video, but I spend like favor in the week newsletter because I know we all have goals and dreams that we have to achieve in our life and my purpose is to help you achieve in those dreams and goals in your life. So guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and don't click out yet because I have to wish some favor over you. Pause. Please. Okay guys, so these are my positive affirmation cards from Louise Hay. And I love them so, so much. Oh, this is gonna be good. So the one that I pulled out was, I trust my inner wisdom. As I go about my daily affairs, I listen to my own guidance. My intuition is always on my side. I trust it to be there at all times. I am safe. So affirmations are like little seeds in your body and your growth. And, and wait, so affirmations are for to help you to achieve your, your dreams and to sh show you that it is safe in the world. Don't believe that. I feel like as we grow up, people tell us like, oh, get a job. They put that fear in you and then you start acting out of fear. Don't listen to that. You know, the time is going to pass anyway. So you might as well join the, do the goal day in, day out and really put yourself out there. Um, so guys, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I have to pick up the phone if you can hear that. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the next YouTube video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and comment down below and introduce yourself. If you want, come join us in the Facebook community and don't forget to grab your newsletter uh, linked in the bio. Thank you so much for being here and bye.